Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Cool Games TV and based on Ragnarok X next generation Facebook page that was posted on January 1, 2022, ROX will be releasing the new third job class and the 2-2 job class or the alternate job class this year 2022 along with the new maps Aldebaran and Komodo but we do not know the exact date yet. This is going to be the biggest major patch this year and a game changer on PvP and Guild Wars because alternate job class play a big role on this type of events. This feature update will revolutionize the gameplay on how to create the best party in PvP and Guild Wars because old strategies will no longer work in this era. So today, I will give you an overview of the 2-2 job class or the alternate jobs based on the classic Ragnarok Online. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with Crusader. Crusader is the alternate job for Swordsman. Crusaders are a fine blend of physical strength and fate-driven magic prowess, making them a versatile class. They are capable of melee combat with a spear or a sword and shield. Crusaders are like priest and knight fused together in one body because they cast holy magic and they are super tanky at the same time. This class will make the tank knight extinct. Crusaders are the best support tank in game because of the skill devotion. So here's the skill description based on the classic Ragnarok Online. So let me read the skill. It protects party members by taking the full damage that they are receiving. They must be in range to benefit from this once they leave the skill is cancelled and needs to be recasted. Damage taken is based on the defense of the person who gets hit, not the crusader that takes the hit. This skill is a double-edged sword for the Crusader. If the player that the Crusader is supporting has super low HP and super low defense, the Crusader will suffer a lot of damage. But if the player that the Crusader is supporting has high HP and a decent defense, that will make them unkillable. So if you think that a priest with 1 million HP or more is a big problem before, this new update will make it even bigger of a problem. Now with the priest and the crusader tandem, they will become immortal. Next one is the transcendent job of crusaders and the counterpart of the Lord Knight class called Paladin. Paladins are the transcendent variant of the Crusader class. Aside from the HP SP boost, the Paladins defensive capabilities have not seen significant changes. They do receive many new offensive skills like Rapid Smithing and Battle Chant. Please take note that every skills that I will discuss today may or may not be the same as the Ragnarok X Next Generation version skills. By the way, the mount of Crusaders are Grand Peko Peko and Paladin's mount is the armored version of the Grand Peko. The next one is Sage, an alternate job for Mage. Sages are PvP oriented class with the role of a caster. They do not have the offensive abilities of a wizard but are slightly buff version of Mage with their free casting. Free casting is a skill that allows the user to move and attack while casting spells. Sages shine in their defensive abilities with many builds centered around Magnetic Earth. Magnetic Earth skill nullifies and blocks some ground targeting skills. Dispel is another sage skill useful for removing buffs from the enemy. Sage is a good counter to Crusaders or Paladins because it can easily use the spell skill to remove their defensive and support buffs making them weaker. Next is the Scholar. The scholars are the transcendent version of Sages. Through Rebirth, the Scholars gain class-defining SP manipulative skills such as Soul Exhale, Indulge, and Soul Siphon. 
the two former skills and evil scholars to act as endless sources of SP or mana, which make them a favorable class for party play. The third SP manipulating skills, Soul Siphon, allows scholars to offensively eliminate all of their opponents SP, making scholars a formidable class for PvP and Guild War. Sages are good counter to those class that relies heavily on their mana or SP because Soul Siphon can fully drain a single target's SP. Next is the Bard and the Dancer, the alternate job for archers. So there are two alternate jobs for the archer route. Bard are gender locked to male characters and Dancers are gender locked to female characters. So if you wish to choose this route, make sure to choose the right gender for the specific alternate job class. So if you're going to create a new character, if you're going to start a new novice character, make sure to choose the right gender. Bards and Dancers are support class, and this class can increase teammates' attack, can increase defense, HP, SP, and many more. They can decrease enemies' defense and many useful support skills as well. I haven't played Bard Dancer class before so there's nothing much I can share about them but they are absolutely one of the best support class out there. Next are Minstrel and Gypsy. Minstrel is a transcendent job class of the Bard. This job is also known as Clown in other localizations and Gypsy is the transcendent class for the Dancer. Minstrels and Gypsies are now powerful class. They are able to enchant the enemy with different music and deal large amounts of damage with arrow vulcan skill. Minstrel can also give half their stats to a supported character, enabling the supported fighter to increase their damage. Next is the Rogue, an alternate job class for thieves. Rogues are versatile class only really lacking in player versus monster skills, but excelling in PvP and Guild Wars. With their strip skills, rogues can render most classes useless in PvP environment because they can remove your equipments with this skill. This class is a good counter for those tanky class. No matter how good the enemy equipments are, rogue can make them useless by using strip skill. The next is the Stalker. A Stalker is the transcendent variant of rogues. Most melee classes try to avoid them like the plague in fear of getting fully divested and then covered by one of their many copied skills during Guild War. Stalkers are geared more towards PvP and Guild War, however most builds can do player versus monster just as well. Full divestment skill is the most feared skill of Stalker. While Rogue can only remove or strip helm, armor, shield, and weapon one at a time, a Stalker can remove or strip them simultaneously with this skill. Next is the Alchemist. The Alchemist is a class which optimizes potion creation and homunculus, as well as various other potion related skills. They are a class which work for the benefit of their friends and strike terror into the hearts of their foes. The Homunculus is a special pet which assists alchemist classes in ways such as support, an instant party mate, or a sacrifice for the player. This class is a must in a party because they have a chemical protection buff skill that counters the rogue strip skills. Next is the Biochemist, also known as the Creator. Biochemists are the transcendent variant of the Alchemist. Biochemists are much stronger class than the Alchemist, provided there are sufficient funds and SP for the new skill Acid Bomb, also known as Acid Demonstration as well. While Alchemists were more of a melee class, Biochemists have the options to level with the skill other than Cart Revolution and Mammonite. Many invest a great amount of their stats into INT instead of Aji, and level with Acid Bomb or Magic Attacks from Weapons and Homunculi instead. This class can melt anything including players and NBPs in the classic Ragnarok version. Next is the Monk. 
an alternate job class for Acolyte. Monks are a versatile class that can deal damage in several ways unique to themselves. They are most known for the powerful Guillotine Fist skill, also known as Asura Strike, which has uses in MVP, PvP, and Guild War scenarios. Most builds are damage dealers focusing on maximizing damage via skills such as Occult, Impaction, and their combo abilities. The specialized monk builds can be very efficient for both MVP and Guild Wars purposes. Next is the Champion. The Champion is a transcendent variant of monk, known for the one-hit skill Guillotine Fist as well. Champions are even deadlier in close range combat due to their boosted SP count and SDR. Champions get mostly new combo skills as their transcendental skills. Combo skills are mostly used for player versus monsters but still can be useful in PvP if executed properly as well. Champions are one of the most popular job class in classic Ragnarok and I guess it will still hold its crown in ROX. And there you go guys, you are now familiar or refreshed with the alternate jobs and I would like to ask you one thing. From all of the alternate jobs that was mentioned, which one are you going to make in the future? Please comment down your answers below. Don't forget to drop a like and please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep you updated on every uploads. And that's all for today and you have a great day. Bye-bye.